uh, Chad Hedman in forum speech. As early as I can remember, I've been inspired to play in the NFL. When, when I was young, I would sit around the television and watch the Pro Bowl with my dad and brother in February. Like every other kid growing up, players such as Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Adrian Peterson that are all pros inspired me each and every year to watch the game and hopefully one day possibly play in it. But however, because of the continuous decline in TV ratings and fan popularity and whether it has been no newness added to the game in recent years, popularity has uh, dropped. However, major changes by the NFL, NFL Players Association, and Commissioner Roger Goodell, there has been a fancy draft selection process added to the Pro Bowl. The, Bowl has, the Pro Bowl has also been a hot commodity, popular event for football fans. However, as, the, as time progresses and the game doesn't, this has caused some issues. Due to this, the Pro Bowl has undergone many additions, and most significantly, the new draft style. Instead of fan popularity vote, where players are voted by each conference, where some players are left out, like say on some side of the conference there might be three defensive ends that are worthy of going to the Pro Bowl, however two can only be selected. Um, this has caused an imbalance of conferences where, where there's power, power um, positions on one side and not the other. Um, Instead, there, the newly added fantasy um, draft has uh, allowed for players to be selected at random from each position. According to Jeff Gray of SB Nation, removing conference constraints does not open or does open up some interesting teammate pairings as well as fantasy players. Fantasy players like this year, Drew Brees will be able to throw to Josh Gordon, where Drew Brees has uh, has always been the top fantasy quarterback, throwing up huge numbers each and every year. And this year, Josh Gordon peaked and met an all-time high, um, becoming the number one receiver in fantasy draft. It also, it also uh, establishes interesting matchups such as Cardinals cornerback Patrick Peterson against the Cardinals receiver Larry Fitzgerald. This will be interesting, um, Roger Goodell states, because uh, teammates before and previous Pro Bowls have never been able to compete against each other, so that brings an added um, competition level that's that's new to the Pro Bowl. Now that the first change of the principle to the selection process has been covered, the next attract the, the next alteration deals with something completely new, the coaches. This year the Pro Bowl has selected uh, Jerry Rice and Deion Sanders, who are Pro Football Hall of Famers, um, to be their coaches. This is interesting because typically in the past um, Coaches have usually just been voted on popularity or um, typically like with uh, if the coach had a good year, he'll, um, he'll be able to coach the NFC. If he's like the coach of the Seahawks or maybe on the AFC side, the Denver Broncos have a great year, the Denver Broncos coach will be able to coach them. But this year it's going to be um, Hall of Famers. So uh, this um, will bring a classic rivalry to the table where um, Jerry Rice used to play for the 49ers, and um, Deion Sanders used to play for the Cowboys, so that will bring some more fire and livelihood to the table, which will um, hopefully, uh, Roger Goodell feels like, will bring more competition. <clears throat> also, since they're great players and they've played the game and they understand like what what you have to go through, um, this the players really understand what, what it takes um, like with hard work and dedication and um, great skills, so uh, they'll really understand the talent that needs to be there, um, where each player has a purpose and not just vote on popularity. The new selection shows promise, however, stats. Um, the new selection process shows uh, promise, however, the stats show a little bit otherwise. Despite the major <coughs> efforts to pull in the larger fan base, the ratings continue to plummet. According to recent TV ratings in Daniel Feinberger, the fine print, the Pro Bowl lost to competitive program, the Grammys, 30 million viewers to 9 million this year. And as you can see by the stats, the Pro Bowl has failed to meet prior expectations.
However, I feel like something special is, is coming to the table um, with Roger Goodell and the committee is pursue, uh, as they pursue changes and, um, and try to install um, changes that will help the struggle of the game and find a rebirth. And as my father always said, very few things go unchanged. Very few things survive going unchanged. Thank you.